It was 1939 when Fanny, Irwin, Monty, and Sandra decided to go to the World's Fair at New York. The picture is Manitowoc, Wisconsin, where we're boarding the overnight car ferry to get to the other side of Lake Mission. That was before the bridge, and if you didn't go this way, uh, you'd have to go around Chicago. The dark pictures are of the Manitowoc shipbuilding uh, industry. This is Monty talking. It's now February 1st, 2000. And these are some pictures uh, taken on 8 millimeter film from 1939 to about 1946. The tape is marked 1937 to 1939, but these are taken over a longer period of time. We're now going through some of the mountainous areas in uh, Pennsylvania. You'll understand that this is where the first uh, go find uh, trait was established that we're always too busy to get out and look and we always have to shoot the um, scenery uh, through the car uh, window. I haven't broken that habit uh, yet. Washington DC, then up to New York, and then up to Boston, and then home. Irwin was 16, and he was the one and only driver, because at that time, Fanny didn't drive. There's the three of, uh, of Irwin, Sandra, and Fanny walking up the stairs of the Supreme Court building. We had a great time in Washington. We even went to see uh, the Senate and House. And as we walked down the stairs in the House, the uh, representative or Senator Glass from Florida, who was quite famous, stopped and talked to Sandra. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, of course, was taken before the uh, World War II started. Uh, this was a very famous place that just about everybody had a visit. And now, of course, there's uh, two or three tombs of unknown soldiers at the same spot. Eisenhower's assistant, who took a new Vicuna coat from uh, 
Bernard Goldfein and uh, was thrown out of office because they felt that that was graft. Central Park taken from the uh, uh, Empire State Building. We did go to the top of the Empire State and look out the window uh, and took these pictures. had to go to a baseball game anytime you're involved with Irwin you went to a baseball game uh, if this is 39 we probably saw very famous uh, people like Joe DiMaggio uh, and Lou Gehrig uh, playing for the Yanks I don't know who was pitching for Cleveland but maybe it was Bob Feller about that time uh, this is still the famous New York Mets Stadium one of the few old stadiums still in use Most of the pictures uh, were taken by me, but some were taken uh, by Irwin. We went up to New York and stayed at the President's Hotel, uh, then went to the New York for World's Fair. The 1939 World's Fair was quite famous because it was the first public showing of television. It was famous for its tall, spiral and hemisphere. The hemisphere was open and had uh, a, a future world uh, trip inside. was held over to 1940 uh, and the same grounds were used uh, for the World's Fair in 1964 and in 1965 that uh, we took our family to uh, by boat. The uh, New York Giant Stadium is right on the edge of the fairground. The parachute jump was introduced at that fair and you can see uh, that it was a pretty exciting ride. The parachutes had cables so they couldn't go sideways, but it was kind of exciting. This is the uh, famous Brooklyn Bridge. I think it's 125 years old by now. Uh, when it was the first uh, cable suspension bridge and it's probably one of the prettiest ones built. This is on the East River connecting Brooklyn to Lower Manhattan. These other bridges are probably the Triborough Bridge uh, and there's uh, one other one that I forgot the name of. 
the two ships, one of them is the Normandy, and I think one was the Queen Elizabeth at this time. This was 39, 1939, and they put them in New York. Uh, the Normandy, uh, I think, is the one on the right that was not repainted. Uh, the Normandy was a French liner, the Queen Elizabeth the English, but the Normandy caught on fire at the dock later on and was and turned over and was a... Uh, destroyed. The, the uh, Queen Mary uh, tur was turned into a, um, a troop ship at the time, uh, uh, right after Pearl Harbor, and Uncle Henry Gofine was on the Queen Mary with 15,000 men when it went, left San Francisco uh, to make a run for Australia. Uh, we went to LaGuardia Airport. Uh, all the airplanes were DC-3s. Uh, that was the main airplane. Uh, for all uh, in a, uh, for all flying in the United States commercial flying, uh, my dad was uh, took a DC-3 uh, from Minneapolis uh, to uh, uh, Tucson when I went to a school there in the seventh grade. I uh, we I've been on DC-3s many many times around the early 60s, but the last time uh, was when we were. Uh, going to Roatan at Boston Abe went in to see Bernard Goldfein uh, to, to make an appointment the dark gentleman with him was really an uncle that was the youngest of Abe's father's uh, brothers um, the fellow on the straw hat I think is a son of that Goldfein from uh, Boston, uh, we went to Niagara Falls. Uh, there was a mix-up and we lost a day going to Boston because we were at the uh, President's of Hotel and Abe was looking for us at the Roosevelt Hotel. But eventually we got together. Abe had a hard time uh, getting uh, to see Bernard go find. They gave him the brush off, uh, but he finally told me he was not there for money and uh, that next evening, Bernard's wife uh, called us and was very nice to us and took us to their house. Uh, Abe uh, decided to look him up uh, when he was in the barber shop and saw in Police Gazette that the one of Bernard Gofines was kidnapped. He was later released after a ransom was paid.